Hey everyone, and welcome to the multiboard update number three, where I casually talk you through a whole bunch of updates that have been happening in the multiboard system. This time around is a whole bunch of stuff to do with multibin and the accessories with it, as well as where all of this information of multiboard is going to be moving in the very near future. So the first thing to show you are these things right here. These are multi-bin insert accessories. And they are sort of the standardized way that inserts and accessories for a bin system have been done in 3D printing for a long time. Which is, it does one thing very well, it uses a lot of plastic, and then you're sort of stuck with it. Now, I've gone ahead and tried to add as much functionality as possible. We've got a multipoint on the bottom, multipoint rails on the side. Of course, these just slide straight in, and that is that there. But there's another way of doing all of that, and that's what I'm really excited about, which are these right here. These are tops, multi-bin top accessories. They basically do everything that normal insert accessories do, but so much more modularity to it. So, one that we are all quite familiar with is maybe the labels. They're teeny tiny and they are very useful, which is you just get yourself one of these, you can click it into the top there, and now it holds a label quite nicely. But, look at this. I click that in, there you have it. It now does a specific job that I want it to do. But you know what, I really want it to be able to hold my lovely deburring tool of CNC kitchen. Well, no need to reprint the whole thing. I just reprint the top to have the top version. And I've got it over here. This is the deburring tool accessory. I just put that on there and now it holds the deburring tool. I hope you can see just how powerful that is. And this is still just scratching the surface of it all because these top accessories, well, they can be used also not just with the insert bins, but they can also be used with the shells themselves. And there's a new part for that, which are these little things here called click rims. So these little click rims, you grab yourself one of these accessories. So I'll grab this accessory here. I put this onto it, and then I'm gonna just put this down onto a flat surface like so. I grab myself a bin, and we know that bins have two rims inside of them. I'm just gonna put it upside down. You've gotta give it a good push down, and then that is now flush to the surface, doing that accessory right there. Now, the other thing is that, well, right this minute, that's not very stackable. Well, you can actually just get yourself two bins, press on one side first, then click it onto the other side, and that's gone now onto the inside rim, the one further down, and that's it. Now, the fun thing is you can just plop this back out and change this up to whatever other thing you want it to be. So maybe I want to change it over to this one here. So I'll click that rim into here. I'll click it down into there. And there we have it. Super easy. No need to do an entire bin insert if you don't want. But as you can see, that's something really cool. And I'm still not done. There's even more modularity here when we take this little guy and to count, which is the top dividers. So these are tops. This is a top divider. As you know, bin dividers, well, they divide bins and top dividers means that you can add two of these together. So you click these together. So I've clicked one there. Let me grab myself. Let me see which one I'm going to grab. I'm going to go for this one here because I think this one's shallow enough. No, it's not shallow enough. I'll grab this one from over here. So I'll grab this one, that's shallow enough to go into there. I will now click that onto there. Now that that's clicked in, I can go and just put this on top, click that there, and as you can see, I've now created my own custom topped accessory insert with the bin click system. And that is so powerful. In fact, one of my favorite ways of using all of this is creating your own whole accessories. This is all made out of one by ones and it's it truly is beautiful because you're able to just create this like that. Drop that in there. Brilliant. I'm happy with that. Take it back out and now you know what? I want it to always be in here. I don't want it to take it out so I'm just going to move this out. I will unclick this from it. So I'll just take that out. 
put that flat onto a surface. You know what I'm about to do here. I'm going to get myself a two by two click rim. I'm going to put that click rim on all the way around it now. Get myself my bin shell and I'm just going to press that down onto here. And there it is now on there, ready to go. Now, of course, there are limits to this. The furthest that I would sort of recommend is that if you go any bigger than two by two, it starts to really flex on the corners. So just be aware that if you want to go bigger than that, you probably need to divide up that bin in the first place and then you can add a whole bunch of different sections into there. Now that I've done a little bit of tidying up, let's talk about the micro bin. Now the micro bin is the smallest bin shell that is out there. And honestly, the way you can think of a micro bin is that it's more sort of a, a movable module of all of the inserts that you want. If you don't want any of the other stuff, that's basically it. It gives you the functionality of a base, but it also lets you then just bring this all up like a towel. Now, technically you can do that with panels. And there's this panel here, by the way, which is called a light panel. It's brand new. And this one lets you take in both bin shells and inserts onto one panel. Now, the thing is that these don't have a whole bunch of the fun click in accessories that you can do with this lovely thing here, which I'll show you right now. So moving this off to the side, let me show you the fun thing about these micro bins. So micro bins, they can be divided just like every other bin shell out there. Now they can also have all these things clicked into them. How on earth is this clicked in there? Well, if I pull that out, that has these little pins inside of it. Let me actually show you a close up of that. So I've got my lovely little accessory here. There's my nipper holder. I'm going to pull this little pin out here. So these are insert pins. This tiny little thing here, all you do is you put these into all four corners and you put in one side, go to the other side, you push it in and then make sure the pins are medium-ish out. Don't push them like all the way in because that's how you get them back out by rotating them and pulling them. But then you put one in, put the other side in, you then just sort of press them down into place and they go into their little respective bits on the side. And that is now holding this entire thing together. So there you have it. Now there is one thing to keep in mind is that when you are putting in custom shape in inserts in here is you have to divide up the bin to the actual size of whatever it is that you're putting in there because it goes into these little points here in the side. Now, for some of you, you might have already realized that this shape here and all of that, that is exactly the same as a panel. So that means that these, if they're one by one, these can now be held in place by a panel. So if I were to grab this and I see I have my panel back here, I can now click that into here. So that's now clicked into place. That's not going anywhere. Now, if I click it back out, oh, there we go. Click back out. I can take it back out. Of course, you can do this with magnets instead, but I just wanted to let you know that all of this can now click into place and it's all super modular. And because this can take a click in, that means it has a rim. And because it has a rim, it means it can take a click rim. So you can grab yourself other accessories of the tops like this. You can add a click rim to them. You can go to a micro bin and just click that down into place. And that is now held in. This adds a whole new dimension to these remixes because there's no need to now always go in inside of a bin. You can now click this down and it can go upwards instead. Of course, you need to get a little bit creative exactly how that's going to print out, but it is all possible, of course. So that there is micro bins. Now there's a few other little points I want to let you know about, which is, oh goodness, let me just quickly look at my notes. I've got, of course, all of this, all of the remixing parts, they're all out. So there is now remixing parts for all of these insert bins, as well as all of the tops from the sizes of one by one all the way to four by four. We also have the old school style of remixing that you have this, this solid and then you cut into it. I would say that I truly encourage tops to be made, not the inserts. And 
please try and resist editing the shells. There's, they're not really made for remixing. All of the accessories, that's the bit to be remixed because then it brings all this modularity in for everybody. Now, all of the parts that you're seeing around me, they're now all out and they're ready for you to play about. There's also some other extra accessories, a whole bunch of other label holders. There's the label generator, there's a caliper holder. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's come out now. But there's some really big news that's come out, which is, well, there's so much still to come that I've decided that Multiboard is going to have its own YouTube channel. So from this point onwards, this will no longer be the home of Multiboard. Keep Making Channel is still going to be around, and I'll tell you what that does in a moment. But over at Multiboard underscore IO, the link is here and also down in the description. All of the multiboard videos are going to be going there. In fact, some of the videos have already been re-uploaded over there. So I'd truly appreciate it if you'd go over there, subscribe to that channel, maybe re-watch the videos. Let me know what you like the most about the multiboard ecosystem down in the comments. Give it a thumbs up and just overall, let the YouTube algorithm know that they're worthwhile watching and that it's a good space to be in because I don't think YouTube likes it when I re-upload things in a different place. But the other thing is that over in the Multiboard channel, there's actually already new videos. There's the new multi-point start learning pack video over there, as well as a couple of other pack videos that are going to be coming out real soon right there. And there's going to be a mountain load of new videos coming out showing you all the cool little bits and bobs that are going to be basically building our amazing community together. Now, what's coming up next for Keep Making? I'm going to carry on doing what I used to always be doing here, which is project builds, teaching, reviewing, and just generally exploring all of the maker stuff out there. So that's it for this lovely update here. Thank you so much for watching and keep making.